lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Bitchy Tips and Tricks video. Today I have a video for you on how to tie scarves into 1930s or 1940s style tops. I did do a post a little while ago on Instagram talking about how there were some quite risque looks coming out during the 1930s and some of them, including this particular tie top here, I don't know if you guys can see from this angle, were the kind of things that women tended to wear to the beach or out to like a casual kind of setting and it was quite risque. And if any of you have seen any Rita Hayworth or Betty Davis tropical style films or ones where they perform, they wear very cropped tops with high waisted pants and skirts that leave a lot of their midriff showing. Not the lower part of the belly, but that kind of ribcage area. Same with the very famous Marilyn Monroe dress from Niagara. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do three looks today and I hope you enjoy them. So you're going to want a scarf that is about two meters in length. This one is just slightly taller or longer than I am. And I simply wrap it at even lengths around my neck and cross it over my bust, spreading the gathering out. Then from the back, you want to simply tie it in two knots. This is a really, really simple look, but it was very popular in the 1930s. And you will see quite a lot of pictures of women wearing it during that era, despite how risque it was. I like to spread it out and make it nice and even and then if you want you can actually just pin it at the front just there if you want a little bit of extra modesty and here is how it looks without my 50s long line bra underneath for this second look I've just opened my scarf out it's still folded in half but then I fold about the top third over my bust area just for a little bit of extra modesty and uh, to cover any headlight situation you might have going on. Then you want to cross it over at the back but pull the ends up and under your armpits to create the top part of the top. So you're kind of making like almost a 50s style boob tube and I like to just tie it in a knot at the front. It doesn't bother me that you can see the fringing. I think it gives it kind of a Flintstones feel. And I just like to wear this with high-waisted pants. I wear it with my Catherine trousers. And I think it looks quite cute. You can leave the long line bra underneath if you want or a strapless bra underneath. I just like to pull the back of it down to cover the bra up. But you can also wear it without and I'll show you what that looks like as well. So here is the look without the bra. There's not a huge amount of difference. It's just going to give you a bit more of a pointy bust. But I actually prefer it without the bra. But that's just me. For the third look, you're going to need two scarves about the same length. I've just used two really different colors so you can see what they look like. This one, as I say, is still folded in half. It's approximately folded into quarters, but I've just folded it in sort of a bunched way. Pop it over the bust. It's going to end up sort of rouged, so it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's even lengths when you place it. Then take your second scarf and loop it underneath your first scarf basically where your cleavage is. You're going to create like a little neckline with this. I then wrap this around the back, cross it over just like you did in the other two tops. Sort of space it out nice and evenly and then bring it back around to the front. So it's literally just crossed over at the back. I then like to take the top part of the bodice or the first part that you wrapped around and pull it over the bottom bit that you've wrapped back around the front. I think it just gives the top a bit of a better structure and it helps hold the lower section in place so you don't end up with a big gap along the side. Then I'm simply tying it at the front two times, just like I did with the other top, but around the front. Then I just tie this front bit down. I think it looks a little bit neater and I quite like the kind of cute, almost a bow that you get from the way that the bust is placed. And then I literally leave the two scarves hanging over the back of my shoulders. I think this is very glam and quite 1940s. And then I've just tucked those two pieces into the front of my pants. This is one of my favorites. I think it actually is a bit more of like an evening look or you could wear it with a high-waisted skirt. There we go guys, so I hope you enjoyed the three scarf looks. Try them out, try some scarf looks of your own, see if you can create your own little combinations, particularly with two scarves. I think you can probably come up with some more interesting kind of looks with two scarves and I'm going to try them out as well and I'll probably go and share them over on Instagram. If you do try any of these looks, please do tag me in your pictures. I love to see your creations or if you come up with something new, I would love to find out as well. You guys teach me just as much as I teach you. So please share with me, I would love that. Don't forget to come and join us in the Vintage Tips and Tricks Facebook group. Remember to answer the questions so that we can check that you're not a spam account. And come and follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Miss B Town, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.